He's about to pull off and charge you five dollars. He's calling me now. <laughs> they are not laying down. They want to come out and play. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hello. I brought these two women in because they are notoriously so popping at makeup. So I was like, you guys, come do this with me. We more so focus on face, mm -hmm. you know, blush highlight, that kind of thing. Spencer, you're more of a an eyeshadow, yeah. like serving looks, looks. <laughs> you know? I'm trying to figure out how can we achieve these cool holiday trend looks on a budget. So what are your favorite holiday looks and like trends? I love a nice highlight. Nice little gold highlight, kind of like an ornament. I love like a glittery eye look or like a like a smoky eye with some glitter. Ooh. You're both self-taught, right? Like have yes. you ever taken like classes or anything? Nope. No. Yeah. I like got, was taught mostly through YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to like learn from you guys and hopefully learn from our awesome makeup artists that we have. Come on in, Brandy. Hi, Randy. Hi, so how long have you been in the makeup industry? About 14 years. Wow. I love doing makeup. I love teaching. What are your favorite types of looks to do on your clients? So I do a lot of red carpet. I like to incorporate color on a natural, beautiful face. So would you say fresh face glam is similar to soft glam? Honestly, a fresh face, we put on makeup. Yeah. <laughs> When you say glam though, I'm sure there's a little eyeshadow added or a gloss. So we're gonna play a game of beauty roulette. Okay. Whichever look that we land on, we're gonna have five minutes to achieve each of those looks on okay. ourselves. And then yeah. you're gonna judge at the end. This is the wheel of holiday red carpet makeup looks. There were about 30 and we chose six. Nice. Let's get started, shall we? Cranberry lip, Jasmine Saunders. Woo, fucking yeah. gold! Metallic eyeshadow. Let's talk about this look. Her eye makeup definitely is glam, but it's not too much. Yeah, it's nice and subtle. It does have some intensity around the eyelid. I love a good shimmer. Yeah. And I think gold looks really good on my skin and like makes it pop. I would say this is a holiday Christmas party on her face. Ooh. She has a little metallic in her blue, mm -hmm. and it's rimmed all around the eye, yeah. which is super fun for the holidays. We'll pop on the lash, make it more glam, okay. and let's go for it. Okay. Brandy is giving me a braid bun so that I can look as much like Jasmine Sanders as possible. All right, so where are your tools? <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> Lend you my brushes. Thank you. I want you to use these shadows for this look. I like this gold that has a little bit of a yellow undertone, very similar to what's on her eyelid. Okay. And then this outer color will be the color that is creating her cat shape. This look really focuses on the metallic blue. Mm -hmm. So here is a blue liquid liner that okay. I think will be perfect on top. Okay. Add a little bit of the blue eyeshadow to make it metallic. You can put that all over the lip and then top it with this. Also, I want you to pop on an eyelash. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to be clear and honest. I have on lash extensions, so that's why I'm not gonna do lashes. So I do have a little bit of A little cheap, oh, okay. That's cool, and they look perfect for this look. I think you can do all this in five minutes. So we're ready? Yes. And start. Okay, quick question. Should yes. this blue eyeshadow be on my eye or should it just be in my... Where else would it go? Oh, shut up. Let's, Let's start with your transitional colors. Let's put that in your crease with your fluffy blending brush. This one? Yep. So when you're doing your eyeshadow, make sure you're looking at the placement of what's going on with your inspiration. So yes. with hers, it looks like the gold is in the center. Yes. We're gonna focus on the blue being well, wrapped around your eye line. Oh Okay. So top and bottom. And I'm just lining my eye, right? I'm not doing a wing or anything? Uh, yeah, you're just lining it. Make sure they're balanced. We don't want you to look like a raccoon, so tap your brush. Okay, tap the we'll fallout. You don't have to feel brushed. It's looking good. Even <laughs> you though- You don't have to feel rushed. We, Wait, where was this going? Yep, we're okay. good, we're good, oh. we're good. Yeah, but start, start about right here. Oh, here. Uh-huh. And then go- Go outward, create a oh, catty-ish. Oh, curves. I see what you're saying. Don't focus on it being like super crisp and clean, just nice and balanced. Uh, eyeliner. Ah! Oh my God. 
<laughs> We're gonna have to fix that at some point, but it's fine. So I like that you jump to the lip because that's obviously what's most important to finish that of the lip. And make sure you're opening your mouth to get the corners. I'm gonna jump in really fast you jump and just in. help you with the shape. Jump in because the okay, shape so is I'm not there. Tap. I'm gonna use the box of the lashes. Oh. So you see me going up with the shape and then going into your crease. Oh. Go outwards and then into the crease. There we go. Now you have blue all over your hands. So I know. Be careful. <laughs> so now your Uber is outside and you know like after two minutes they leave and charge you $5. I would advise to move on to the lipstick part. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Same brush, other side. Glitter, take the gold. Ooh, and oh. put that on your eyelid. So the key to getting more pigment mm -hmm. is to push it onto your eyelid, not move it around. Let's pop on your lip. He's about to pull off and charge you $5. He's calling you now. <laughs> we're the, packing, we're packing. The Uber's here. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Cocktail hour is expiring. You're gonna have to pay for your drinks. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I would take the liner and just go in and kind of fill in the center because the liner is deeper in color. Pop on your lashes, pop on your lashes. Anybody get a tweezer? 40 seconds. Great. <laughs> oh God. Looks like you might make your Uber. They are not laying down. They want to come out and play as well. Wow. Freddie's gonna leave and go to the next party if you don't hang out. Spray, spray, spray. Spray, spray, spray. spray. Lip gloss, him, lip gloss. Left. <laughs> Just take the mirror with you, girl. Just. <laughs> <laughs> we got to fix this in the car. It feels cute. There's a couple things that are bothering me that I would have done had I had more time. But in five minutes, I think you did a fantastic job. Oh. Despite the adversities we just had, I think it looks beautiful. Thank you so much. I think the only thing that I would want to fix is the lashes. <laughs> They're struggling. The lip is so very close to this lip. I'm actually happy pretty. about it. It's really pretty. So you guys basically got celebrity red carpet expensive looks under $30. If you're really racing against the clock, like it's not impossible. It may mm. not be your best work, but it's good enough for government work. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who won? I think you guys all three look beautiful. Um, <laughs> however. However, I will say the winner is Ray. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? So Freddie won because I pay attention to detail as a makeup artist. And you executed a perfect lip in less than like a minute and a half. I would say your look in entirety is holiday party ready. <laughs> Thank you. So yes, <laughs> you're very welcome. <laughs> to conclude, what are three mm -hmm. items everyone should try to have in their holiday makeup bag? A beautiful lip. Okay. A nice eyeshadow that could go all over the eyelid. And I think the third, hmm, would be a lash. I think that could complete a nice holiday glam. Makes sense. So you guys did really good. I'm really proud. <laughs> that was so much fun.